Welcome. The purpose of this video tutorial is to demonstrate how to import your Virtumart inventory from an Excel spreadsheet into your active e-commerce website. To achieve this, you must first have the Virtumart component installed into your Joomla content management system. Secondly, you need to make sure that we have the CSV improved extension installed, also known as CSVI. This allows us to import a spreadsheet into your active website. Additionally, you will need another program installed on your computer called OpenOffice. OpenOffice acts just like Excel, except it allows us to save your spreadsheet in CSV format and also allows us to modify the edit filter settings. So what we're going to do here with this spreadsheet is we are now going to save it as a CSV, a .csv file using OpenOffice software. We are going to say keep current format as we have asked it to be a CSV file. Now we want to make sure we set the character set to UTF-8 and we want to modify the delimiters to the symbols which is an arrow up which is the number 6 hitting shift and then this little squiggly line which is directly above your tab key and then we want to hit save. Now that this file has been saved we're going to return to our Virtumart store and to our back end here of Joomla and we're going to go to components and utilize CSVI free which will allow us to install this spreadsheet. We're going to select process Moving forward, we have set a custom template called Diamond 2014 Import for Inventory. And we can load that template. And now we can see that my field delimiters are as we have reflected utilizing our open office software. And we see that our header nodes are to be used as configuration. So if we look back at our spreadsheet, our header nodes are product name, category, path, and so on. So here we are in the process format. We're going to now select the file that we just created. Once the proper CSV file is selected, you may hit process. Processing time may vary depending on size of your import file. However, upon completion, you will reach a result page that will report the success and failures. In this case, we have a success. We can now go to our Virtumart e-commerce component into the product section. And here we can see all of our products have been imported. However, our images were not. So now we must return to our open office document. And we can see here that we have our files for our images are present here. However, they were not imported. This is because our first import was simply to import the data. Now we will revise our spreadsheet, removing all of the other items, leaving just the image columns. In this case, our e-commerce store has two images. However, we will be required to import only one at a time. So now that we have prepared our spreadsheet to reflect just the SKU and the file URL. We can prepare this as we did the other file as a CSV file, editing filter settings. We will save it as image file. And here again, UTF-8 should be our character set and then we will modify our delimiters as well. Again, we can return to CSVI import processes. This time we will select the template image import for store, load that template, select our CSV image file, and process. Here again, we are brought to a result page which communicates our successes and any updates. 
So we can again return to the VirtuMark products and now we can see all of our images now exist. One other final check I like to do is to view all of my items. Once the page refreshes, we'll see all the items. I then check, mark, and select all of the items in the store. And then I hit publish. Just to make sure that all the items are published. We can return to our store. And we can verify that all of our items have been published and do exist.